Pixel wants to bring virtual reality to the medical world. The startup's new technology creates an interactive 3D view of CT scans. This is 360-degree imagery that helps doctors pinpoint the exact location of a disease. Knowing the problems that the docs have had for 40-plus years of struggling with 2D views to create 3D information in their brain, that's been a challenge. And we had no technology to resolve that. This is a patient's CT, and we're importing about 300 images that is a volumetric data set of a patient's head that happens to have an aneurysm. All right, so show me what this is. First thing that you should see is you should see 3D. Ooh, it's like I'm reaching right into his head. Yeah, but also notice that if you move around the display, you're going to be see, able to see around that oh, yeah. volume. That's um, wild. And you also have the stylus. Uh -huh. So the stylus controls this Blu ray. Uh -huh. When it's blue, it's not touching anything. When it goes through something visible, it turns green. And that's when you can press and hold the front button and move the data through this cut plane. Which oh, are that's the wild. Corners. Look at that. Wow. You can also grab the cut plane uh -huh. that you can apply in any direction that you want to the data. Uh -huh. So what I'd like you to do is put the ray into that aneurysm. Okay. Press the front button, Good. pull it out. Oh, and you can pull that out. Wow. And twist it around. You can see around the aneurysm. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. And you can just leave it out and uh, you can perform over here. some neurosurgery right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is wild. So this is what Look we at mean that. Uh, by working with body parts instead of images. Why is that important for the doctor to be able to have a 3D image like this? Like, what, what is this helping them to do? When they use the stylus, they're actually reaching into the actual uh, size of the patient. So it's almost like holding a scalpel and practicing your surgery uh, very very easily. Well, what it does for them now is it allows them to get a much more intuitive feeling of what they're looking at. The fact that when the doctors are saving this time and they're able to think more creatively, we're able to get much better clinical results and better workflow results. Most doctors view CT scans in 2D, meaning they can't see in and around all the details of your body, and it's harder to find the exact problem. It also takes a longer time to work on creating images to look at. EchoPixel's new technology could radically reduce time and cost for hospitals and patients by giving doctors a precise 3D image. Think of it like inner space, but instead of actually minimizing scientists and shooting them into your body, the new technology lets you see what's going on with 3D glasses and a special display. I've been using EchoPixel for both research and clinical purposes, and um, the application that I use most is for CT colonography, also known as virtual colonoscopy. Our goal is really to identify the precursor lesion that may develop into a cancer. And I think what the EchoPixel platform does is it really is a game changer. So not only is it um, engaging and interactive for the radiologist who uses it, but it uh, allows us to identify the lesions uh, just as well, if not better, and uh, we're looking at larger portions of the colon at once. Uh, so that it would be more time efficient. There are also certain types of lesions that this technique um, are, would be able to help us pick up better, and these are the flat lesions of the colon. So the fact that you have this um, uh, 3D model of the colon in what we call true 3D space, you can really manipulate it in a way that highlights lesions that are just too tough for us to pick up with the flatter displays. Well, I always say that every time we're able to pick up a polyp that's, that measures 10 millimeters or larger, um, that essentially you are potentially saving a life. Because these are the ones that uh, have the most chance of them progressing to cancer. With uh, lung cancer and breast and prostate cancer, where you're looking for the cancer itself, it's almost too late. What's the biggest challenge you have right now? Our biggest challenge is really getting this uh, awareness in front of doctors. So we're very actively going to shows, we're actively going in front of doctors and trying to make sure that they experience um, the ease of interpretation a lot of data. And a lot of times what we have, even with very high experienced doctors, they see this and they say, wow, this is great and very cool. Would something like insurance cover this? How hard is that to overcome sort of those challenges? So there are some reimbursable, reimbursable codes for visualizing 3D data. Uh, and they're taking advantage of that. You would maybe say this is more 3D visual data than, than VR. 
Well, it's it's what I what I would say it's a non-enveloping VR, right? So one of the advantages that we've seen doctors and we talk to them about uh, head-mounted displays all the time. So they will say, I don't want to have a head-mounted display and then memorize the surgical plan that I'm going to have to perform in a few minutes. This way, this can be in the OR, they put it right next to the patient and they're referring to their plan as they're doing surgery. While Echopixel software is not what you typically think of VR with a headset like Vive or Oculus, it can virtually display your scans from every angle using a pen and 3D glasses. Doctors can zoom in and pull out something that doesn't look right, or 3D print the model to have an at-scale prototype to study further. Having tried Echopixel for myself, I can see the potential for this new type of tech in surgery and in catching problems early to save lives.